Well, we have a lot of newcomers tonight, and I, I have uh, a goal. And by the time we're done, I want to make sure everyone knows exactly what we do here at the center. How many of you have driven past the domes and said, I wonder what they do out there? <laughs> yeah. Okay, so tonight, you're going to find out. And I have... I have a little presentation that I'm going to give you on PowerPoint, uh, but then I also have some guests that I'm going to have come up, some of our, our, uh, our doctors, and we have a, a lifestyle educator, and we actually have our CEO, if he shows up, will uh, we'll be up here to do a demo for you on IV nutrition. So we, our goal tonight is to demystify the center so that you know exactly what we do and how it can be of service to you or, or friends or family members who are uh, struggling with their health because that's what we're involved with out here is health and helping people find their way to better health. So I'm going to go ahead and jump into this. Uh, we have been doing the uh, health fair here since 1992 and, I, and some of the faces that I see here have been regulars and it's always great to see the regulars but it's nice to see new faces too and tonight we call our presentation ask the doctors because at the very end uh, the four doctors that are here actually one nurse educator and three doctors we will split up to tables so that you'll have a chance to one-on-one -on -one come by and ask us questions we'll also have a group question and answer period at the very end I want to draw your attention to a little quote it's not in very big letters this is uh, Dr. Still. He was both an MD and a DO. He was actually the founder of osteopathy. But uh, what he says here is to find health should be the object of the doctor. Anyone can find disease. And in our day and age, that seems to be more true than ever because you talk to people. Let me, let me, let's do another little hand show. How many of you have heard either today or maybe in the last few days someone tell you, boy, I'm tired. Yeah, very common statement because people are dragging and people are suffering from many chronic illnesses. People are looking for ways to lose weight, control their blood pressure, uh, lower their cholesterol. They want to feel better, want to have more energy, and yet, there's, there's kind of a concern, maybe we're taking too many medicines. Can we find more natural ways, ways that I can choose to help me help myself? Because uh, I think we're, we're finding out that uh, we can oftentimes do a better job of our own personal health care reform than the government can do for us, right? right. We are involved in a day-to-day decision-making process about what we eat, how well we sleep, how much exercise we get, but very often it's kind of uncertain as to how to proceed. And so what we're going to be talking about tonight is the, the new paradigm of health care that we have been working on here at the center for actually the past 30, 34 and a half, almost 35 years now. Dr. Hugh Reardon was the founder of the center he teamed up with a benefactor here in town, Olive W. Garvey, and, and actually many, many people in the Wichita community who shared their vision to create this new paradigm of health care. So we have a program that's been in effect here now of chronic illness care, where we, we work with people who have not gotten good results elsewhere. Uh, this can be cancer, it can be migraines, it can be arthritis, high blood pressure, heart disease, any kind of chronic degenerative disease for which people have not been able to figure out a way to get better. Or they've worked with various health professionals, specialists, their family doctors, they've tried everything, but they haven't looked at what are the underlying causes of their illness. And so what we're doing with our patients or what we've been doing is helping people find their way to better health using more natural techniques. Now what I'm going to be talking to you about tonight is a new uh, endeavor of the center. We've actually kind of been doing this, but we haven't been clear to people that we're doing it. 
And, and namely, we want to let the public know that we're interested in helping you develop your own lifestyle medicine program, that we can serve as educators or co-learners is a term that Dr. Reardon really liked. Uh, you can't begin to learn what you think you already know. And very often, we're, we're trying to figure out what it is we need to do to take better care of ourselves. And, and oftentimes, we turn to our sickness care system here in the United States, and we're asking someone else, what can you do to help me feel better? And I think we do need that. I always tell people, if I'm in a car wreck, and seriously, Andrew, don't bring me to the Center for the Improvement of Human Functioning. Take me to the ER. We have an excellent acute care system here in the United States, and so we don't want to lose out on that, that quality of care that we do have. But what about true health care? How do we care for our health? And I remember as a medical student, went through the whole first year thinking, when are they going to start talking about health? in medical school, because medical school, for those of you who have been involved in medical education at all, it's really about sickness and disease and what we can do to treat those diseases, hopefully prevent them. But when it comes to answering that question, how can I help myself get healthier, that question's not too often addressed. And that's what we're going to talk about tonight. What choices can you, as an individual, make to take better care of yourself. So if we, if we uh, look at these two pathways of patient care, we do deal with patients who have very grave illnesses, chronically Ill illnesses. And our whole uh, thrust is to look for the underlying causes. We're not just going to treat symptoms. We're going to look for toxic factors, nutritional deficiencies, food sensitivities, metal toxicities, um, stress, anything that could be a constant cause of illness. As an example, I'll just use myself as an example. When I came here, I had had uh, 24 years of cystic acne on my back. It was a type of very painful acne. Uh, my wife thought maybe it was because I'd never made it out of puberty, but uh, <laughs> what I found out as a result of doing nutrient testing I was deficient in zinc, very severely deficient in zinc. You might even look at your fingernails. Do you have any white spots on your fingernails? Sometimes that can be a sign of low zinc deficiency. The other thing that's a sign of, of zinc deficiency that Dr. Reardon kind of made famous, because zinc is necessary for your immune system to control the overgrowth of bacteria in the sebaceous glands, if you don't have enough zinc, you can't control those bacteria and they produce odors. And so Dr. Reardon's famous statement is, if you're low in zinc, you stink. <laughs> and so uh, when I was a kid, my mom, when I came home from basketball practice, she used to put my tennis shoes outside the house. They were that bad. So anyway, I found out I was very severely low in zinc, started to replenish that, and over about a year and a half period of time, that 24-year chronic illness, for which I didn't want to take any antibiotics, but that got better just by correcting that sustained deficiency. So that's an example of identifying an underlying cause of an illness that once it was corrected, the body had the ability to fix itself. And that's what we've been involved with mostly here at the center is chronic <coughs> illness care. Now we're going to start a new thrust because we have so many people who even in their, even as teenagers or even younger, are beginning to show the signs of chronic illness, whether it's high blood pressure, uh, weight problems, cholesterol problems, liver problems. All this is showing up early and earlier and earlier, and we're tracing it down to the lifestyle choices that our population is making. Some of them are just not that good. But where do you go to get professional help so that you can make better choices. And so by serving those people who are looking for more optimal health, we, we use our lab to measure nutrient levels. We can teach you how to take better care of yourself. And we're good coaches at encouraging and hopefully inspiring you to do a better job of self-care. And so tonight, I'm going to be talking about two areas that are brand new and one area that we've been doing for a long time, is, that is the health panels, therapeutic lifestyle change, and IV nutrition. 